So I've been thinking about camera modes lately and what camera modes is the best to use and so I asked a couple of my friends to know what they shot on a daily basis. Now most of them just told me that they shot in fully manual mode, some told me that they dabbled in between the other modes like aperture priority and shutter speed priority but for the most part manual mode had like the crown victory here. But something that was very interesting to me is that out of all the camera modes out there, the one that was never talked about was P mode, program mode, or I like to call it premium auto mode. And it got me thinking, why though? Why, why does nobody want to shoot program mode? Now to understand why P mode isn't used, we need to understand how every camera mode works. Most new photographers usually start by using auto mode. Although the automatic mode in modern cameras are reliable enough to give you consistently good photos, they lack the ability to change the camera settings. This is why most serious photographers will shoot in manual. Manual mode is exactly what you think it is. This camera mode lets you change the aperture, the shutter speed and the ISO, so basically you have the full exposure triangle at your disposal. This also means that if you have every camera setting wrong, the camera will not stop you from taking a terrible photo. This makes manual the most challenging camera mode but also the most rewarding. Because in every situation that you will be put in, you will have the full creative freedom. A mode, also known as aperture priority, is the mode that I use for most of my shots. Now depending on the camera that you have, it might show A or AV, but just note that they are the same thing. Aperture priority lets you change the aperture of the camera, and the camera will automatically choose a shutter speed to get a perfectly exposed shot. So you don't have as much creative freedom because the camera will choose a shutter speed for you. But that also means that you have one less camera setting to think about. This can dramatically increase the speed in which you shoot photos because now you only need to think about your aperture and your ISO. You can go one step further by leaving the ISO to auto ISO and now you only need to think about your aperture when shooting. S mode, also known as shutter speed priority, is a mode that is commonly used when you need a fast shutter. Now depending on the camera that you have it might show S or TV, but just know that they are the same thing. Shutter speed priority is the opposite of aperture priority. It lets you change the shutter speed of the camera and the camera will automatically choose an aperture to get a perfectly exposed shot. This as well can dramatically increase the speed in which you shoot photos because now you only need to think about your shutter and your ISO. And once again you can go one step further by leaving it at auto ISO and now you only need to think about your shutter when shooting. P mode is kind of a mix of both aperture and shutter speed priority, in which both aperture and shutter speeds are automatic. But if you change one setting, then the other will compensate for it. So put it this way, the camera gives you a bunch of settings that will get you a perfectly exposed image. So let's say that you are displeased with the 150th of a second shutter that the camera recommends you, you can up the shutter and the camera will lower the aperture to compensate. Another way to put it is it's an auto mode but you can change the settings on the fly. In the real world all these camera modes strive in certain situations. Manual is good when you have time on your side. A good example of this is when shooting time lapses, product photography or shooting with an off camera flash. Anything studio environment is where manual really shines. But anything in which you can take it slow like astrophotography can really work well with manual mode. Essentially, you trade speed for creative freedom when shooting manual. Aperture priority is commonly good when shooting street photography or any type of photography in which you don't want to fiddle around with your camera settings too much. Using aperture priority will usually net you good results. Shutter speed priority can be excellent when shooting sports or wildlife in which you need a high shutter speed. Okay, but what about P mode? Where does it strive? So here's the deal, all the other camera modes out there had a specific target audience for them. Manual mode was more for studio photographers and astrophotographers, aperture was more for portrait and street photographers, and shutter speed was more for wildlife and sport photographers. So who's the target audience for P mode? And essentially the, the target audience for program mode is for those that understand the exposure triangle but want to shoot in auto. And that's the problem. It's that once you, once you finally understand your exposure triangle, you don't want to shoot in auto anymore. So it makes it that 
the target audience for PMO just doesn't exist. To be fair though, as an auto feature, it might be one of the best out there. Auto mode doesn't really let you customize anything, but P mode lets you change settings on the fly and will always give you a perfectly exposed photo. So it can be a great camera mode for people that want to learn the exposure triangle, but aren't ready to plunge the manual yet. But the problem is that once the amateur photographer finally learns about P mode, then he already switched from auto to manual. So I guess there is a target audience for program mode, it's just that the target audience for P mode doesn't know that P mode exists. Thank you for watching, leave a comment down below, I kind of want to know what camera mode do you shoot in? Do you shoot fully manual, do you shoot a bit of aperture priority, shutter speed priority, do you shoot P mode? I kind of want to know, maybe you shoot P mode, maybe you shoot auto mode, hey if you shoot auto mode man, hey. It's all good.